It's a really interesting time for mathematics education. We're in a position now where we really don't know what students of today are going to have to do in the future. So the aim of this fantastic new initiative called Cambridge Mathematics is to champion and to secure quality mathematics education for all students. I hope we'd have a framework that we've got general consensus on and then we would start populating that with assessments and resources and a professional development offer that would support that framework. Cambridge Mathematics is a really important initiative. It's bringing together different parts of the university and the skill sets that are within the university. So OCR and Cambridge International on the assessment side, part of Cambridge Assessment, Cambridge University Press on the resources and development side, the education department and Enrich on supporting the teacher and developing the teacher, and then the maths departments, the understanding of maths and how that can be applied in all sorts of different scenarios. In the past, we've known about each other's work, but we haven't worked together and collaborated and this project gives us an opportunity to collaborate. Maths is always high on the political agenda and um, even though maths participation in post-16 is actually quite low compared to the rest of the world, it's becoming more and more important um, as uh, people are realising the utility of maths in the workplace. There's increasing government focus on the teaching of mathematics and where maths students end up. Um, and so we feel very strongly that the authority Cambridge can bring to that debate and the quality that the University of Cambridge is well known for will mean that anybody anywhere in the world will have access to a really coherent, well-organised approach to mathematics. We're going through the really the second industrial revolution but this one's driven by data and by information. I think we have a chance to make an even bigger impact by combining the kind of understanding of mathematics and of the learning process with the opportunities that new approaches uh, to learning content, particularly through the use of technology, can do, whether that's in tracking the data on individual users to give a more personalised experience, or using things like uh, video game techniques in order to get people really engaged and excited about what they're doing. If you as a person can't understand and interpret the absolute wealth of data that comes your way just in order to be able to function in everyday life, then really you are very, very disenfranchised from taking part in society. I think the biggest challenge for maths education is supporting teachers. If you're asking them to move away from tried and tested methodologies that they're comfortable with to a more problem-solving pedagogy, you're going to have to support them and bring them along with you. And part of that is actually asking teachers to work with you to develop these resources teachers in classrooms, to give them the resources, the, the ability to have that continued professional development, to support them, to produce the lessons that they want to teach to their pupils and have them have the enjoyment out of teaching mathematics. And I think if you have a, a framework that supports you through assessments and your own professional development, um, that's, that's, that's a very useful thing. This is genuinely about inviting people in to a conversation about what the future of mathematics education might look like. We want to engage the international as well as the national community. Um, it's much easier to do that now, now that we've got the facility for digital communication, etc. So it really can be a global debate. But also, we've got a space in which to look at mathematics curricula and decide what is really, really important about a quality maths education. We know more about the research, about how children learn and what are effective methods of teaching. Um, how children can learn independently as well as being taught. So all of those things means that now it's a really ripe time for us to have this debate. And it's a really ripe time to develop a framework which brings everything all together.